Hello guys, how y'all doing? Miss Evening. How y'all living? Happy Monday up in here. I said, since I don't have to be to work till a little bit later, I'm gonna cut on old faithful again. And y'all, let's get right into it. How y'all living out there? How y'all doing this morning? Happy Monday, guys. I hope everybody enjoyed Basketball Wives last night. Hit my video down below. I came in and I talked about how Tammy wanted to get with Duffy and get that ass. Y'all, I talk with my hands. I'm going to have to do a little bit better, y'all. Tiki working on herself. Y'all work with me. And uh, don't forget to go in and enter my contest, you guys. Name it Tiki Eyelashes. Because uh, y'all know when I'm on my way to work, I let this hair down. But last night, y'all got to see me full effect, ghetto hood. Takesha, hood rat, hood rat, hood your mama. Tiki, sorry. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, we're going to get into a couple of discussions today. Before I get started, it looked like um, y'all go over there to Fabulous over there on uh, Instagram. You guys, and follow me on Instagram. My IG is Tiki underscore 44. And follow me on Twitter, Tiki at Tiki underscore 44. Y'all come on, hang out with me. I'm starting to post more pictures on Instagram. I'm always on Twitter. I'm on Facebook, but Facebook be blocking me and my videos and stuff that I be doing. Cause y'all know I gotta twerk for subscribers. So y'all hit me up, follow me on IG and follow me on Twitter. So Fabulous is trying to expose Black China. Fabulous has, let, has released some pictures and it's with Black China with this man. This keep coming up. I know she did paternity tests. At least she want us to think she did paternity tests. And uh, y'all, you know, Black China is already light skinned, you know, Jackie, light skinned, dark skinned, whatever. But it's got, when that baby born, I know they all gonna be sitting somewhere watching, trying to see, are you the baby daddy, okay? We're gonna be calling Mari. Mari hit up Rob and Black China. Maybe they can start season number two on Are You the Father or Not? Okay? Yeah, what I done did with my <laughs> with my remote. Alright guys, so the next thing we're gonna bring into discussion today. Uh, Chris Brown been seen lately a lot around K. There were some events that happened and K is Karuchi. I know he's been taking pictures with another female and saying he's dating someone else. But uh, he's been seen lately a lot at two functions with Karuchi. And uh, y'all excuse me. And um, I think he wants that old thing back. We know Chris love Karuchi. But you know what? That goes to show however y'all start a relationship, my Tiki's out there, that's the way you got to finish it. If you allow threesomes in your relationship and you let you allow this young man, young lady, whatever, Y'all letting them do shit like this, and then you want to all of a sudden, a year later, do a 360. Always start the way you want it to be. You know, like I said, when I met someone, oh, I'm spoiled, I'm spoiled, I'm spoiled. Okay, let me go, because see, my ninja, I'm not going to spoil you. I spoil myself. I get up, I go to work. I buy the things that I want in life, and I am not going to take care of no grown-ass man. Now, when we in a relationship, and we do it for each other, other that's a different thing and in marriages relationship i'd have been there if one get fired and the other one has to hold down the fort that's okay you know or if you guys i'm gonna stay at home and watch the kids me and being man or woman however you decide to do your relationship that's nobody business but your own and make sure you keep people out of your relationship when you get into a fight with them, don't call your mom and your daddy and your cousin and have them all over there ready to whoop his ass or whoop her ass or cuff her out. And then next week y'all back together and you got your head down because now you feel, you know, like, oh my God, I shouldn't have got my family involved. Now they're all mad at me because we're back together and, you know, that's not the way it's supposed to be. Keep your relationship, situationship, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever you got going on, keep it amongst you two okay y'all that wendy was talking about chloe this morning she said she's been biting her tongue so long that her tongue is bleeding and i'm gonna get to that thoughts i'm gonna speak on some stuff because i've been biting my tongue for so long it's bleeding okay and i gotta speak on some shit. 
But uh, Chloe and um, Lamar, that divorce is finally final. Okay, woo, yay. Long time coming, who cares? Next. But the young man that she's dating, Tristan, has this young lady pregnant. Seven, eight months pregnant. LeBron James has told Tristan he do not want him to bring um, Chloe around. Cleveland Cavaliers or whatever and disturb you know what they got going on because she was married to Lamar so you know my thoughts on this how do y'all feel do y'all feel like y'all friends or y'all teammates should be able to dictate who you see or who you, I mean who you date or who you don't date and at the same time um, Chloe I blame you because they don't want all them cameras, the Kardashian. They don't want all them cameras because it seems like everybody get caught up in them cameras and they forget to be who they are. You know, everybody want fame. Everybody want to be on TV. So they start playing terrible. You know, we watching Russell Wilson. Him and Cece has announced that they are officially pregnant. And uh, with her being the start that she is, you know, sometimes... You want to do that take away from who they are. He's supposed to be, well, he is Russell Wilson, a great quarterback for the Seattle Seahawks. But when she's around, I see she tried to put her baseball cap on and dumb down because she want him to shine right now. But these celebrities and athletes, they go out and they find each other in their own league because they want to start them, if you ask me. That's bullcrap saying they don't want to take the shine from the other person. But yet still, they go get someone on the same level and you know what let me uh, elaborate on that a lot of times in life I have just accepted things and as long as he got a job as long as he got a car I'm gonna rock with him I'm gonna roll with him so you know what Lord Jesus forgive me but on my search this time and I'm not settling I want that young man to be at my caliber in life so who am I to judge them when I'm basically doing the same thing? And I'm not looking. If God happened to send me my angel while I am loving me, getting to know me, and, and finding myself. Because I always put everybody else first. So, you know what? It is what it is. I am not in no hurry to be in a relationship. I go out. I date. I hang out. I do whatever I want to do. Because I can do that. But I'm not trying to hurry up and link up. I'm not going to take care of nobody's children. I'm not going to help pay nobody's car payments. I'm not going to help pay nobody's mortgage. If it's not what Miss Tiki want, it's not what we will have. It is what it is. You know, call me, whomever. Talk about me. I don't care. This is my life. This is my life, okay? <laughs> Come on back, Tiki. Y'all know she would go out on a tangent in a minute. And uh, my thoughts on... If we're not friends anymore, you know, is it right for you to be contacting my children, speaking on things in life, on camera, saying things that does not pertain to you? Where do we draw the line on friendship? Friends, hey, how many of us have them? Friends, hey, the ones we can depend on. Let's be, oh, okay, not a talent show. <laughs> Bring it back, Tiki. All right, now I'm gonna go there. Thoughts. Me and Road Dog, we've been friends for over 40 years. If me and Road Dog had a dispute falling out, because we like sisters, we may fight, we may fall out, we may do whatever, but we're gonna come back together. You can believe that. Okay? Friends for life. If Road Dog see my daughter and she talk to her, she call her, she reach out, you know what? I think we have earned that place in each other's lives to where I wouldn't get mad at her. I wouldn't be upset. But I would also, hey, talk to me. Don't put the kids in it, okay? And children, <clears throat> if you're watching this, don't get involved. Because we're friends. We have be been friends before the kids have come along and we're going to work it out. So now where well, our children may have gotten, you know, inserted themselves and said, mama call her or mama don't talk to her or whatever. Now that we back friends, then y'all sitting somewhere looking at each other like we should have never got involved. No. Okay. Friends, as if I met you on YouTube a year ago, we had some conversations over the telephone 
you thought you knew me, but you didn't know me because I didn't, I portrayed to be somebody I wasn't. And I don't know who I was talking to at that time because it was four or five different people. You said you were, you know. Should you be reaching out to my child, you know, and uh, speaking on me? Or should you be doing videos about things that has happened? No. Hell to the novel. That's where I draw the line. No. Leave me and mine alone. If I, if I say I don't fuck with you or we don't get down like that, leave me and mine alone. If I'm not bothering you and yours, why are you inserting yourself in things that don't pertain to you? So you may say, Tiki, I feel like you may be doing the same thing. No, I am a blogger. I have a right to speak on whatever I would like to on this channel here and you may feel like I'm overstepping my boundaries. No, I'm not, you know. And uh, because I've had ties with this person and this person, hey, it is what it is. Maybe she need to do what she need to do over there to get them views and get that checkup. Because y'all can believe YouTube is demonetizing a lot of these videos, okay? And if they feel like it's not YouTube friendly, they are not paying us. Okay, I'm speaking from anybody who met me the other night or at the SLVS and know me. They know, hey, I take this. I might buy some hair. I might help my mother. I might go out and have me a drink. That's what I am doing with my money I'm making from the YT. But, of course, I'm taking it and, yes, I'm using it, okay? But it is a hobby, and I've grown to love this hobby. But... My thoughts? No. Uh-uh. If we don't fuck with you, that's like me in a relationship. Me and my husband, me and my boyfriend. If we don't fool with you, like Phaedra say, don't reach out to me and mine, okay? 